Hey, I'm Trevor of DinoJet. Today I'm going to be showing you the installation process of the Power Commander 5 on this 2020 Indian Challenger to help you squeeze out every ounce of power you can out of this beautiful new bike. So the first step of the Power Commander installation process is you're going to go ahead and remove the seat. You're going to remove this side panel and go ahead and prop up the tank to give you access so you can route the Power Commander up underneath the tank. And please take note that this bike already has a stage one air filter kit through Indian, so we already have the relocation of the charcoal canister to the left side of the bike. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off this air box. So in stock configuration, your charcoal canister is gonna be mounted right here. So if you're doing this in a stock configuration, you can go ahead and just loosen up your charcoal canister so you're able to install your ground. But in our case, we're gonna have to take this whole thing off so we can get to our ground and get to our back injector. Now that we got the air box off the bike, we can go ahead and start routing the power commander. We're gonna place the power commander underneath the seat towards the rear of the bike, and then follow the stock harness up underneath the tank with the power commander harness. You're gonna to come to your first connector, which is gonna be your TPS connector that's on top of your throttle body, and plug in line the power commander five harness. After you get your TPS hooked up, your next step is going to be hooking up your fuel injectors. You're going to start with the rear fuel injector, which is on the left side of the throttle body, directly behind it. The easiest way to get these fuel injectors is with some nice long needle nose, because you have to squeeze the sides to pop them off. So it just makes life a whole lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and hook up your yellow and red fuel injector lines from the Power Commander 5 harness and plug in line with that rear connector. Might need the needle nose to help you get get it back on once you have your rear fuel injector plugged in line with the power commander harness we're going to go ahead and work on the front fuel injector which is going to be kind of in the back of the right side of your throttle body again we're going to use the needle nose pliers to kind of help us out with squeezing the sides of the injector and it should just pop right off Once you have it unplugged, you're going to go ahead and plug in line power commander harness with the orange and red wires. And then plug the power commander onto the fuel injector.
After you have your front injector plugged in, we're going to go ahead and start routing the crank connector. This connector, we're going to go through the middle of the engine and pull it out the other side. Once you get that crank connector pushed through the center of the engine, you're going to go ahead and pull the rest of it all the way through and then let it sit. Then we're going to go ahead and take off this cover on the back of the radiator to give us access to the stock connector. Once you have the plastic cover off the back of the radiator, it's going to give you access to the crank connector, which is going to be a black square connector directly under the radiator. Once you locate that, you're going to go ahead and unplug it and plug in line the Power Commander harness. Our final step in the process is we're going to be hooking up our ground. In this case, our ground is hooked up behind our air box but in a stock configuration, it would be hooked up behind your charcoal canister. So what you're gonna do, gonna go ahead and put that ground around the bolt, hold it on the back of the air box, connect your air box, get that bolt lined up, and your ground's connected. And that's it. Your installation process the Power Commander is done. You can now get this beauty put back together and hit the open road. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and check us out at dinojet.com for more Indian Challenger tunes.